So one of the things that we all, often lose as throwers is going to be internal rotation of the shoulder like this. Uh, oftentimes the throwers, external rotation is really good, internal rotation not so great. Something you want to do to try to maintain an internal rotation is you want to do what's called the sleeper stretch. So what you're going to do is you're going to put something on the ground to, to support your head and then kind of the most important thing, if you can just kind of swing around behind for us, I can just do it this way. That makes more sense. Um, first thing you want to do is kind of squeeze your shoulders together because if you don't squeeze your scaps, you're just going to be able to rotate way too far. You're not going to do a good stretch back there. You're just going to yank your scaps off the rib cage. What you want to do is right here, try to get your shoulder down a little bit. You don't want to be too shrugged in that position. So try to get right here, try to stack your shoulders one on top of the other, head down, squeeze the shoulder base together tight. And you're just going to push down like this, okay? So push down as far as you can, 30 seconds, relax. Maybe reset if you need to, squeeze tight back there. Push down again, 30 seconds. There's a couple, there's no ways you can do this. I, don't, I usually do them all at 90 degrees of the shoulder. You can uh, increase the angle of the shoulder. If the, angle, the muscle's a bit different angle, kind of come down a little bit, if the muscle's a bit different angle. It's kind of whatever's most comfortable for you. So usually three sets of 30 seconds before and after throwing is, is good.